Brown tree snake is one of the world's most notorious invasive predators and here on Guam it was accidentally brought in shortly after World War II and has eaten all of the native forest birds and, and driven some species and subspecies actually to extinction. Now the concern is to avoid new infestations of brown tree snakes on Hawaii, Saipan, Rota, and Tinian. We feel we've got that cordoned off pretty well. We want to start doing what we can to recover Guam's native species. It is actually possible to drastically suppress the numbers of snakes in a forest by the dropping of baits from helicopters, baits composed of a dead neonatal mouse that has a tablet of acetaminophen glued to it. The reason aerial suppression on Guam is so important is that Guam has vast areas of habitat which are inaccessible by foot or by vehicle. We're not actually able to treat these areas from the ground. This is really a partnership between our operational branch, wildlife services, and then the research branch, which is the National Wildlife Research Center. This is one of the bait cartridges. There are 900 of these in each magazine on the helicopter with four magazines, so we'll dispense 3,600 of these before reloading. This thing fires at four baits per second, so we can cover 30 hectares of land in 15 minutes with a single load. A helicopter can fly uh, anywhere between 50 and 70 knots and still be able to apply baits at the, at the rate we want. Comes out into the streamer. The, this whole assembly will, will fall down and tangle in the canopy of the tree. In the trees, it's available to the brown tree snakes and preventing it from falling through to the forest floor keeps it from being taken by things like crabs and rats and other non-targets that might be on the forest floor. As we get this system uh, on a larger landscape level to where we're doing large landscapes and knocking down brown tree snakes, then we can reintroduce native birds. That's the plan. That's the whole purpose. We're hoping to see that snake activity did drop drastically after the treatment and we'll continue to monitor snake activity in the area for up to a year to see how long the treatment lasts without reapplications of treatment. Cool. Once we've developed and evaluated a system that we know works, ultimately what we'd like to accomplish is strategic suppression of brown tree snake numbers in areas where they're at high risk of being exported to other islands and in areas where there's the possibility that we can recover some of the native habitat for Guam's wildlife.